Good evening, beautiful people. Welcome to Before I Sleep, a daily evening devotional to help us grow closer to God. This week, we are talking about godly confidence. For the past few years, confidence is something that I have been reflecting on. And growing up, I think that we are taught that confidence is this outward portrayal of strength, whether genuine or not. And as someone who grew up shy and quite reserved, I always felt like I needed to muster up this bravado to show that I'm confident. Even in the things that I was confident in, it was very evident that you needed to portray a certain image of confident that I felt like never left room for vulnerability But that has definitely evolved for me over the last few years. And I wrote this in my notes app back in 2021. I am learning that confidence is the awareness and acceptance of all of who I am in the different seasons of my life, what I consider to be strengths and weaknesses, the acknowledgement of growth and the commitment to change even in the face of adversity. It is the willingness to let go of perfection and embrace the journey. Now, it's weird to say that you are confident knowing that you have weaknesses, but it's not weird when you know where your confidence comes from, when you know who your foundation is. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is perfected in weakness. Therefore, I will most gladly boast all the more about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may reside in me. And I keep being drawn back to this point of discovering who you are when you ask that question, who am I? If you want to discover who you are, discover who God is. Ask that question first. Who is God? Because You were created by God for a purpose. Your purpose is found in him. Your strength is found in him. Your identity is found in him. So you can trust that the journey that life is taking you on is for your good when you are submitted and surrendered to God because you are confident in him. We know all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. You know, I think that it is very unnatural for us to get excited when we face challenges or when we see a flawed reflection of ourselves. But when I sit and think about the growth that will be produced or the testimony that will be shared, the comfort and the wisdom that will be given by God, that is powerful. That is beautiful. I have some verses from Job that I want to share that I think are so beautiful and such a reflection of the confidence that we should have in God. We're going to start with Job 8 at verse 11. Does papyrus grow where there is no marsh? Do reeds flourish without water? While still uncut shoots, they would dry up quicker than any other plant. Such is the destiny of all who forget God. The hope of the godless will perish. His source of confidence is fragile. What he trusts in is a spider's web. He leans on his web, but it doesn't stand firm. He grabs it, but it does not hold up. He is a well-watered plant in the sunshine. His shoots spread out over his garden. His roots are intertwined around a pile of rocks. He looks for a home among the stones. If he is uprooted from his place, it will deny knowing him saying, I never saw you. Mm. Now let's go to Job 31. We're going to read verses 24 through 28. If I placed my confidence in gold or called fine gold my trust, if I have rejoiced because my wealth is great or because my own hand has acquired so much, 
If I have gazed at the sun when it was shining or at the moon moving in splendor so that my heart was secretly enticed and I threw them a kiss, this would also be an iniquity deserving punishment for I would have denied God above. Everything that we do, everything that we hope for, the foundation should always be put on God. God is the foundation. Our confidence should be put in him. Even with this podcast, you know, when I first had the thought about doing this podcast, the very next thought was, I am so unqualified for this. (laughs) Even today, as I record this, that thought is still ever present. And then when I was like, oh, it should be a daily podcast, I thought I was crazy. (laughs) Like I am losing my mind. But I know that God is pruning me during this process. And I know that my confidence in myself, in my wisdom, in my knowledge is so fragile. But When I submit and surrender to God, I know that his confidence, his support, his foundation is what will carry me. So don't put your confidence in your gifts, in your talents. Put your confidence in God. God is the one who gives the gifts. He is the one who gives the talents. He is the one who equips you. So even when you feel like you aren't enough, trust God, lean on God. Lord, we thank you that we can put our confidence in you, that you are the firm foundation on which we stand. And when we do forget, when we begin to put our confidence in ourselves, in the gifts and the talents that you have given us and the things that you have created, when we put our confidence in man instead of you, Lord, correct us, convict us, continue to teach us that you are the support that we need, that you are the one that carries us. Allow our confidence, allow us to always know that our confidence should be in you and you alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's stay connected. Visit the website at tamarajmorris.com backslash before I sleep devotional. Sign up for the newsletter so you never miss an update, including Sabbath weekly. Also join the wait list for the before I sleep journal.